Hey YouTube, it's me, Journey Again 6, your middle-aged natural beauty, and I'm here today with a video about Thirsty Scalp. Um, before I had my locks, before I even went natural, my beautician used to tell me, Janet, your scalp is very thirsty. And I thought that was the equivalent to dry hair. She said, no, it's not the same thing. She said, your hair holds oil. My hair loves oil. And, but your scalp is very thirsty. So I'm like, okay, so how do I remedy that? Um, she took care of that. But for me, doing my own hair, having locks, I have to take care of it. So what I do is um, on dry hair, and I don't wash my hair every week. You guys know that. I wash my hair maybe every two weeks, two and a half weeks. Um, but I do focus on moisturizing and lubricating my scalp so you guys remember that um, Carol's daughter black vanilla oil that I had bought well I'm like a very very uh, conservative and I very frugal in some areas of my life so I saved the container and I use it to mix my own oils and what I did was on my dry hair I mixed coconut oil, vitamin E, and tea tree oil. Now, I don't like tea tree oil because of the way it smells. It smells to me like an insecticide, which back in the day, people, and maybe even still today, people use tea tree oil to, to, um, to um, kill scabies. Excuse me, you guys, my eye itches. Yeah, yeah, so if you ever see anybody in the store buying tea tree oil and Lysol, they're probably treating scabies at home. Anyway, um, side note, sorry about that. Anyway, um, as I was saying, so the tea tree oil I had to put in here because my scalp was very, very itchy. And um, it wasn't time to wash my hair. And I didn't feel like wetting my hair. So what I did was I heated this up. I put a cup of water in the microwave, heated it up, put this in it, and got this nice and warm. And what I do is I go through each section of my hair and I saturate it with oil. And I can tell, well, you, you guys can tell when your scalp is dry. But I saturated it with oil. For me, the main parts is right here in the front. And you can tell that I've already um, addressed that part. I've already sprayed that part. But... My scalp has already soaked up a lot of that oil. A lot of it. Yeah, it soaked up a lot of it. And it's just like, and then your 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 locks will soak up some of the oil too. Don't don't misinterpret what I'm saying. Your um your locks will soak up the oil also. But for me, I go through and I'll make sure that every every inch of the, my scalp every bit of my scalp surface has oil I go through and I'll massage it massage it all in and it feels so good and it's what it does too also is it stimulates circulation and then when you stimulate the circulation and you actually stimulate the um, nutrients that's in your blood to the surface of your scalp and to your hair follicles and you actually not only nourish your scalp and your hair you promote growth so um now i could cover this with a cap but for me if i sweat then when it evaporates i feel like i'm gonna lose the oil all over again so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna let it hang and if my if I feel like the um the hair has has collected too much oil, then I'll just take a towel and I wring some of it out. And that's the oil that's in my hair for right now. You can see. Yeah. So I'm just gonna let this do what it's gonna do. And as bad as tea tree oil smells to me, right now my hair don't smell too bad because, um, oh, I forgot to tell you, I did put some 
jasmine oil in there just for to cut the scent of the uh, tea tree oil. And it smells kind of light and powdery right now. You can smell the tea tree oil a little bit, but it's not as bad as it would be. Okay, so yeah, so that's what I do for a thirsty scalp. But I'm very, the only difference between lubricating my hair and um, treating my thirsty scalp is that I am very liberal with the oil. This is like, maybe I started, it was probably up to here. So that's how much oil I put in my, on my scalp. And once you do it and you massage your scalp, you can feel the circulation. You can feel, um, it'll feel a lot better. It'll feel a lot better. So, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I know most people tune into uh, channels where people have longer locks or people um, can actually help. And I, I want to be a help. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to start some locks on my other nephew. Um, this will be a journey, a, a challenge for him. Anyway, um, you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next video. Peace.